Hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue on our journey of learning just one little bit more, a little bit more, one phrase every day. 不可救药 Ah,、uh, was what we talked about yesterday. That there's no medicine that can save this patient. And the day before that, we talked about 无药可治 Ah,、uh, wait. Okay, 无药可治 So it's the day before. So something about a cure, something about the medicine. But this context is there's no medicine that can cure this. Not about the disease itself is un- uncurable, but well, not about the patient itself. Like the timing past savable stage, but this is no medicine can treat this. So it's the disease itself is a is a fatal one. It cannot cure.、Um, So today we continue with wu ke this structure. There's nothing that can do something, right? Wu ji ke shi. So ji and shi are the place replaced the yao and the zhi, right? Yao is the noun, and the zhi is to cure, right? With something, the goal is to do something, right? So here is a wu、um, ji. Scheme, right? You're coming up with ideas, and shu is deploy.、Um, like you can, you can do something. You can act on this plan or this action. 无计可施啊 We are going to go、uh, into these two characters, and 计 ka came from this left structure. Actually, left and right both are meaning makers. The left. Talks about the language, and this language came from. Okay, this is the mouth, and if with this structure, like two concave, two concave on top, and with a with a stick in between, in the middle, that becomes the tongue symbol. So something related to mouth to the tongue, and there are two horizontal lines stacking up. It's like the sound wave going further away. So it's your, you know. Your speak piece, your mouth and your tongue, and then the sound, the result, the the bits、um, going in through the air, sound waves going through the air. So that eventually the whole symbol means speaking, means verbalizing things.、Um, the right side across horizontal line, vertical line.、Uh, okay, across is a question specialized the crucifixion symbol. In Chinese, there's no such connotation. So wipe that out. This simply means our ten number ten. I don't know why this crossing、um, becomes number ten.、Um, yeah, I haven't searched that one up yet. But the thing, it, the the concept that we have here, verbalization number ten combination. We already can tell. Like the intention, why? Because okay, speaking is a function, mental function, right? Speaking is to communicate, to influence,、uh, but also like speaking is the result after thinking. Like you already think over about something, and ten is measuring, is counting, is computing. Like you, well, the, together is computing. You you are、um, quantifying something, right? So when you try to quantify something, count it.、Uh, you're trying to measure it, and then you manage it, right? So that's the concept of ten represent this calculating, this counting unit, and verbalizing it. Combined, it means somebody have to think over about something to check out the con- condition, situation, right? To quantify the situation and to verbalize, express that. So the whole thing, the whole Process of this、um, analyzing things, right? Counting, analyzing, and also verbalizing it. The whole process used <laughs> to capture here to means calculating. So somebody is examining the situation, calculating, coming up with a plan to go against the situation. So a move, a maneuver, and sometimes it translates like scheme, as if like going behind somebody. 
to you know to harm to other people, but not necessarily. It simply means a solution you know, in face of a situation or challenge or complicated situation, especially. You come up with ideas how to approach that, how to sort it out, so to speak. So that's our ji, okay? Wu ji ke shi. Shi is the word, the action. So when you have a plan, you're going to deploy it. Once you have an idea, you're going to carry it out. So that simply is the action on top of this. So when you have this, and then you can do this. Same thing as when you have the medicine, you can use the medicine to cure. When you have the idea, you can use the idea to do something, to solve a problem, something like that. Sure, okay, came from this structure. Okay, this structure looks pretty complicated and it is indeed come, came from, um, according to some scholars, the left side, something related to the flag. We kind of can see it's kind of a flag, uh, especially this portion, like the flag in the wind, the flapping in the wind kind of motion. And I don't exactly know this uh, triangle, the top portion of a triangle with a tip, like what normally that means housing. So you have a house over there. So, okay, you have a house. Okay, let's tell a story from this image. You have a house and then you have the flag flapping outside um and this symbol um uh, was originally a sound maker using here so the meaning maker is both the house and the flag that's the meaning um the and then this yeah <laughs> it doesn't sound anything like a shu is the sound maker back then so combined it depict the motion of the flag. So I guess it's like the flag in the wind. That's the kind of shi. Um, but somehow this flag motion got generalized, means something in motion, something. So the flag, you can treat it as if this is your plan or this is something in place, right? It's motionless, but in motion is like the wind do something to it, right? And then it start to, to act, start to move. So that's the kind of deploy. Like you have a plan, it's fixed, it's motionless, it's lifeless, basic. And then if you put it on, on the pole, right? You put it up there and then it start to move like the flag in the wind. And that's bring this idea into life. I hope that makes sense. Um, so wu ji ke shi simply means I cannot come up with such great idea that I can use to solve the problem at the moment or to face the situation or get myself out of this trouble, something like that. So at my wit's end um, is our wu ji ke shi. Okay, here I showed a very cute, popular cartoon back in the 1980s early 80s or 90s uh, when China, after a long time of separation from the rest of the world, uh, first imported cartoons, like a children, kids entertainment. Um, this is one influential um, cartoon back then. Talks about this little monk uh, <laughs> boy who is ambitious, uh, whose who's ambition is to become the greatest monk ever. And he came up, he's this idea, he's this um, you know, brainy kid who always come out a solution um, of, um, in face of a, um, some, sometimes a challenging, sometimes funny situation. And this is his typical gesture of thinking, like to, to do this, they kind of externalize um, personalize the thinking process. Um, so that's the concept I want to, um, this visual, I want to show the qi. So this is the planning, the thinking, this is the part. And when um, EQ Sun is this boy monk's name, that if he come out of ideas, sometimes he run out of ideas. <laughs> sometimes this is like eternally, like our spinning wheel on the computer, eternally running, but there's no end to it. They couldn't come up with good enough solution for it. So there are such moments 
So that's 无计可施 at our wits end. And you can see in English, you have to have a my or your, somebody have to take the place over here. Like we have to have a, a word in front of wits. We cannot say at wits end. It doesn't make sense, right? Have to be my wits or your wits, their wits, have to be somebody, have, have a kind of owner, ownership of those wits, right? But in Chinese, everything like the ownership is implied. We don't really have a subject matter, like who is actually coming up with ideas. There's no talking about that. We just say there's no ideas that can be used at the moment. So that's uh, one interesting um, difference. Okay, cash into the currency of thinking. Bye. One word a day with Sophie. See you another day.